Hey there, Rob Crawledge, Motley Pool Canada member service dude, back at you. I'm going to teach you a couple more little tricks today to build on our last lesson. You now know how to open up your browser, and you may have known all along, but uh, you also know how to type in an address into the address bar. So I'm just going to go and open mine up right now from down here, right now, rather than use one of these icons. I'm going to open it from here. Open my browser up. I'm going to open it fully. So that's where we're going to begin. I'm going to type in my address like we did in the last lesson. I'm going to hit enter. That's going to take us to the free site. I'm going to hover my mouse over the Stock Advisor Canada where I get a drop down menu, which I discussed last lesson as well. And on login, I'm going to left click my mouse button. As I left click my mouse button, it brings me to my login page. Mine has, a, I use a program to remember my passwords, but I'm going to erase it so I do it as you would have to until you. Uh, such a time you've told the browser to remember. Down here, you may have an option that may work for you with the browser you use. Sometimes it doesn't work though, so sometimes you will have to keep typing in your password. Um, it's not that big a deal. I'll click log in. That takes me into the paid site. And here's the Stock Advisor Canada site, your paid site. Now, we're going to do something here. We're going to teach you how to create a shortcut to your desktop that will take you directly to this page to log in. Now, up top here, you have some little icons. This one here, when you hover over it with your mouse, you'll notice if you move, move your mouse there right away, it doesn't immediately show up. It takes a, two or three seconds. And then it'll give you a description of what it does. Then that'll disappear again. So if you moved it away and you brought it back, and you leave it, there you go. You see it again. Minimize, it says. Okay? This one here would close the browser completely. And this one here, holding the mouse there, shows you restore down. It will shrink the size of your browser window. So I'm going to left-click that as I just did, and it shrank my window down. Now, using your cursor, you can resize this window. It usually shrinks back down to whatever it remember, remembers from last time. So, if it shrank down to something like uh, this, and that's not really comfortable to work with, um, you know, you'll, you'll want to make an adjustment. Um, how I'm doing this right now, I'll explain right now, is when you move your cursor around, if you bring it to the edge of a window, You'll notice it turns into two little arrows. It'll give you some kind of an icon indication. Maybe different with different operating systems, but there's going to be an indicator as you get close to the edge. Once you get close to the edge, if you push your left mouse button, you click it down and you hold it again. The act of holding down the mouse button is very much like grabbing it with your hand. Now you can move the window around, and whenever you let go, it's going to stop and stay at that size. You can grab it from the sides here. You can move it to the top, and when you see the icon again, the simple change, you can left, left click and grab. You can resize that way. You can even go right to the corner and you're going to get a diagonal one. Left click and grab it and you can shrink it like this and make it whatever size you like. If you bring it right up to the top, if you butt it right up against the top, it'll sit right there nicely for you. Now, you can also left click along the top of the bar, left click and hold it and you can move the entire window around. Very cool. So, anyways, we've got that taken care of. Now we're going to create that shortcut. To create the shortcut, you take your cursor, move it into your address bar. And you'll notice here it shows up as a straight up and down line. If I were to click in here somewhere, okay, there's the trick I showed you before, it turns blue, I could type all over, replace all the words. I could also click again, and now I could just start typing in the middle of something. You're not going to be doing that now, but I'm just showing you what happens when you take different actions. And finally, what we want to do is we want to move this cursor to the edge before the words in the address bar, and you'll see it change it to a pointer. That's showing you that you can take action. You can do it. There's an action available to you. And the action here will be to left click and hold the mouse button again. So again, we're practicing holding something. And if you keep holding it, you drag it off, you can see it, that you're holding that. You're holding that, what's going to be your link. And if you move it right off of this browser window, you want to move it away from this browser window while holding it still. You're going to move it over here to your desktop. This is the area underneath your browser window. And if you let go right here, just let go of your mouse button, it creates a shortcut. Okay. I'm going to log out of the site so we can see what happens afterwards. I'm logged out. I'm going to hit the X. I'm going to close my window completely. All right. And now what I've done is created this icon here, the shortcut. So next time you turn your computer on, this will be sitting here waiting for you. You want to go to your Stock Advisor Canada site. You just come here. You'll click this once. It'll open up your window to whatever it was last time. So maybe shortened like this. You can make it full just by hitting the maximize now. Notice it says maximize when it's here restore down. Those are the two options. Now you can maximize it. And then again, you'll have to type in your password and your your username. 
click login and you're logged back into your premium site there's lesson two we'll continue with some more fun lessons in website navigation and then we'll get into more of the nitty-gritty of how to use our actual site and all the wonderful features that come with it